look, when they start talking about aliens on the mainstream media, well, then you know what the elite... It's like you know what they want. The elite, they want the world, the possible, you know, 7 billion people. They want everybody to believe that. The other things are not... They're not so much pushing... Uh, like, I don't think they even mentioned the fires over in Israel. I don't know. Uh, the meteorite. I mean, hitting Australia. They're not saying anything about that. But aliens over in New York. Yep. So... Again, what are all these things that we're going to see being talked about starting on May 21st of 2019, which is eight days ago? What are we going to start seeing? What is it that the Mr. Mouthpiece is going to talk about on his channel? Well, he's going to talk about... Uh, He's going to talk about the tornadoes that are going to appear and get worse. The storms, the fire, the, uh, the flooding, which is, I didn't get that, I didn't get a chance to put his clip up, but Mr. Mouthpiece Paul Burglary, Begley said that it's the worst flooding in history to date. And it all began on May 21st of 2019, when the flood is on its way. You know, I remember I was at work. It was like three days before May 21st. And um, I'm just in a house. It's, it's already done. People are basically halfway moved in. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's like this... Uh, this water starts coming from the ceiling. It's leaking down into the um, into the fire alarm and into one of the lights. And it just starts dripping down. And I had to turn the water off. Like that, like man, the flood's definitely coming. That's confirmation. So, and that's what happened. The the deceptive flood, along with the um, the flood of lies so literally on TV you have the flood of deception you got the waters coming all over the place yeah things are getting flooded out it's real water but oh well. it's real water but it's not coming from the hand of God it's just coming from the hand of men then uh so I, I was seeing fire, lightning type of fire, which is fast paced one after another. Paul Bagley, fire, 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 fire. All of Israel's on fire. So I've seen that coming. And um, and all the storms, the uh, hurricanes. Haven't heard anything about a hurricane just yet. I've heard about the tornadoes and um, and the fire from heaven, the meteorite. I was expecting the meteorite to hit somewhere, um, mainly on the U United States East Coast side. It's still coming, but they give you little... That's why I say the a small-scale tsunami is coming up very soon because you have... They give you a small scale of something... Like the meteorite that hit the, the Project Blue Beam that hit that beam that hit right over in Australia and exploded. Seen that coming? Just wasn't sure that it was over Australia. I figured it would be in America, the coastline that caused the tsunami. I'm pretty sure that that's exactly what's going to happen in the end. So, this is why over a year ago I said. When all these things happen, 
you're going to be 520, Job 522 in it. I mean, are you not laughing at these things? Are you not like, oh man, wow, this really? Like, they're really pushing the alien invasion? So, so I seen that coming. I seen it. Don't forget about the alien invasions. They have to abduct, abduct us. All these things will start on May 21st of 2019 for the next 21 days. Bank on it. Guaranteed. So, you know, I, I, you know, I mean, what can I say? I mean, the proof is right in front of your face. And, um, and it's just, again, I, I go back like, well, doesn't everybody know that they're going to do this? Can't, can't you just see, like, don't you, don't all of you know that these are all the things that are, they're going to play out starting on May 21st? Because it is that eighth year going into perdition, because we were warned, um, uh, rightfully by Harold Camping. May 21st, 2011, that God's judgment is coming upon the entire earth. Every person. It started eight years ago. It's just get. It's fully manifesting. Steve's rising up as king. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. This is just real. This is actually real life being played out right in front of your eyes. The movie, the the Bible prophecy. The Satan rising up as the Antichrist. This everything is so real. Like I know it takes some time to, to for like to just settle in. Like wow, this is real. Israel, this is real. This is Israel. I mean, it, it's what we are. We're the Israelites, and we're coming to life. And uh, the Pharisees and Sadducees are there. But see, look. People like Paul Begley and Stephen James and Sean and all the other false prophets, the 450, they are going to be um, very, very useful in the future because they know the Bible inside now. They don't understand Scripture, but they do know Scripture, and um, and that helps tremendously because I don't fully understand. Um, all the stories in the Bible, I just don't. I, I haven't heard them. I haven't read the whole Bible. I just don't know it. But uh, it helps to have it because what they are is like they're like the encyc Bible encyclopedia. You can just ask a question, and they'll be at your at your uh, it'll be at your fingertips, and I'll get the answers I need. So they're going to help tremendously uh, to to benefit humanity in this very near future as soon as steve gets you know gets that out of a system where he rises up and rules and gets his party and says i told you so and he said he's going to mock us in the end well that's fine but look it only lasts for a short space and then we can move on with life so here's what i see next because all these things it's going to be what did I say on the 19th of May? It's going to be weather dominating and they're going to blame it on God. All those things start to pass. Don't forget about the alien invasion, okay? The, the transformation from blaming it on God because it was May 21st, 2019. It's the seventh full year going into the eighth, into perdition. Just like it started, all the tornadoes and everything started back in May 21st, 2011. Same thing. And that's one of the other reasons how I connected it, because I'm sticking with what Harold Camping taught me. And I never wavered from it, ever. I kept going straight. I, it didn't matter who. I automatically connected myself to Harold Camping in the beginning of my, once I started talking. And, uh, and I didn't get all kinds of people coming against me, but... You're supposed to. I understand. I forgive you. It's no big deal. How are you supposed to believe anybody that sets dates? Because everybody before Harold Camping has set dates, they weren't supposed to. So I'm just finishing off all the date setting and all the events and what the 
top Mr. Mouthpiece for the Elite that I understand is saying. So keep this in mind. This has never happened before in the history of existence, of creation. And when you have a mouthpiece for the Elite speaking for them, don't you know that that's the world's script? The world. There's 7.7 .7 billion people in this ginormous world that, you know, you drive around, you walk around all day. There, there's, there's people everywhere, okay? Well, no, it's, it's kind of empty, but the point is, there's people in that car. There's all those people on the bus. There's people over there at 7-Eleven. People in the school over here, the hospitals. Do you think any of them really know what's going on? Like it, with the world? No, so not everybody does think like this. And that's what I gotta keep in mind. I just have always assumed that everybody just thinks that way because it's a simple way to think. So all these people, they don't know what's going on. And this is who they're targeting for the alien invasion. Is it gonna be hilarious? Oh my God, will it be It. We get to see the greatest movie ever made known to mankind in our skies, live. I mean, for days on end, when it, I seen some lightning flashes and stuff last night with no sound, testing it, you know, it kind of looked like a strobe light just spinning around and stuff. And uh, my camera wasn't catching, my eye was catching it better, so I didn't even record it. But this is, okay, this is seven points. Let this, let this settle in. There's seven, 0.7 billion people in the world. The elite have a have a script that they have written, and Steve and James and Sean has everything to do with this script that he knows about because he's playing the Jesus Christ. Well, I'm not gonna say Jesus because Jesus was a man who was walking the earth back then with the Christ inside him, just like uh, just like the other prophets that came walking along they had the Christ inside of them so Steve is playing the last Adam role who is the last Christ um, on earth so he's playing it out he had this in plan for so many years that of course no look he's not going to just throw in a tab like all right Rob you win fine no, he's going to go all the way to the end because he was promised, right? I mean, you guys are the ones that got to tell him that. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Look, it was fun while it lasted, but we found the truth, all right? So this is 7.7 .7 billion people, and it is a world script. When you sit down in front of your TV and watch the news, that is what they're showing the entire world. And, um, and I'm telling you, I know what it is. I'm telling you I know what their script is and I've never seen a page and I'm telling you I know who all the players are and I've never met any of them. I've only talked to Steve over the phone, Skype, face to face when I'm referring to the elite um, players out there but never met them face to face. So I don't know who they are. I don't know what their script says, but I can see it clearly. Now, I don't know. I mean, I would I would think that I would be a little nervous, like especially if I'm Paul Begley because I mean, man, you want to talk about some perfect timing in under 60 seconds and then just, you know, Now's your chance at 14444. And then he's calling upon the name of Jesus after 52 seconds. And then um, and then within the next seven seconds, uh, he's blessing Robin's hood. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> and um, I got seven new souls living up. It's like I walk inside, I got... I got two lives. I walk outside, I got seven lives. All together, I got nine lives. It's Decker, Bowie, and uh, and then outside, it's you know Sarah and a mom. And then um, there's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, right? There's Bruce Lee, for sure. And um, and there's, a, there's definitely a, 
One of the orange cats is definitely a girl. I think two of them might be. One of them is definitely lucky, reincarnate. So anyway, I got nine lives. And then three souls all together. So it's 12, 12 souls total in my um, household, immediate household. So there's 11 other souls to feed, you know, the truth. Yeah, I mean, cats and dogs, you know, they don't really listen, but, but you still tell them the truth anyway, right? So this is the world script. It's unfolding right in front of our faces. Uh, I couldn't be any more on to Paul Begley and the elite script day by day by day, moment by moment, uh, event by event. So we are seeing the pestilence. The Ebola outbreak, it's all happening starting May 21st, 2019 for the next 21 days until June 11th. Now, for the first 10 days is all about the weather. All about the weather, all about the plagues, all right? The next seven days from June 1st to the, to the 7th, well, to the 11th too, because the 7th, the phoenix rises up from the ashes, the dark phoenix. And um, so for the first 10 days is all about God. Just like I thought, just like it's played out, it's happening. They're blaming it on God. It's the weather. It's crazy. It's hail. It's fire. It's storms. It's lightning. It is apocalyptic, uh, annihilationalist uh, weather. That's, it's just, it's everywhere. And it's all throughout America destroying us now now that you got the God part out of the way and coming up in two days well two and a half whatever you want to you know till midnight all right we are getting shut down between June 1st and June 11th June 11th is absolutely the positively the last YouTube truther on earth but it's definitely gonna start shutting down for sure on the first it might even shut us all down completely. And then it's the transfer to the UFOs. It goes from all the, the first 10 days of God's wrath, the plagues and everything, and then it's transferring to aliens for the next seven days at least. And then you got the war. It's going to transfer from the weather God to it's going to continue but I'm saying the phases there's three phases God being blamed aliens abducting people and and the rapture ish kind of somewhere in that area it's going to start talking about that and then you got the war and then at the very end the last three days this is when the tsunami is going to hit this is when the meteorites are going to hit the oceans this is when you're going to hear the rumors about it's either Russia uh, shooting off missiles or, or exploding things in the, in the, in the um, underground, or it's um, it's uh, the meteors, meteorites hitting our oceans and causing the great tsunamis, and God with the earthquakes in the oceans that are causing tsunamis also. So you're going to get three different stories. And aliens, you're going to blame it on aliens too. But all these things are going to keep happening. And the last three days, the earth is going to swallow up the flood. The earth is going to open up their mouth and they're going to swallow up the flood. So this is how the, this is how the, uh, the process happens. is through phases. One phase at a time. next phase and then the next phase so the aliens are coming they're really they're really pushing you know when you put it on the mainstream media I I didn't truly expect I didn't truly expect that it would be uh, the mainstream news, you know, the aliens. 
But I definitely expect the Begley to talk about everything that I seen happening because he is that mouthpiece. But now I can see that they truly do want you to believe that the aliens are coming. So how are you, like, when you see the aliens coming and you, you're, you're seeing your neighbor across the street, like, what are you going to do besides piss your pants laughing? Look, all the people that run and go to a, a, a camp or whatever, look, they're going to be fine. God's going to rip them out of their arms. And uh, there's still some people that aren't, they haven't been briefed on what's really going to happen in the end. Because, uh, well, Steve is one of them. Steve James is the main one. And then all the people that are with you, Steve, right? You guys? The ones that are with Steve? I know there's, there's a land split, okay? And once that's approved on June 1st, you need to decide which way you want to go. You need to decide. Do you want to? Do you want to go? Uh, do you want to live with, with the Christ or the Antichrist? Which spirit do you want to live with? The Christ spirit or the Antichrist spirit? Do you want to live with the author of confusion, the same author Gematria, Stephen James and John? Do you want to live with Stephen James and John is exposed for being a false Jesus? Um, or do you just want to live in in a in a world where there's actually just nothing but truth, and people aren't trying to backstab each other anymore? So here we go, June first shutdown. All right, I know I've said this numerous amount of times, but once you get closer and closer and closer, obviously the date is finally going to line up where it's. It's the cutoff. The winters were abated, abated on May 21st. They're going to be dry on the 31st into June 1st, and then um, then you got aliens taking over, dominating the more. We're going to start seeing them with our own eyes. All right, that's what's going to start happening when we when it shuts down. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's why. They're going to shut our channels down, right? And we're going to start seeing them in the sky, like right in front of our face, like, you know, like during the day. And you're going to just want to, oh my God, you're just going to want to like record it and post it on YouTube, but you can't. <laughs> ah, man, that's going to be the, that's our punishment. Is like, well, you can't post the freaking you, the alien invasion and um, and then Steve gets his way. Look, look, he gets his way for a time, times and a half. He gets his way literally for for uh, three and a half weeks, and he gets his way for the last three and a half days because they do party. So they don't you know that after three and a half days they're gonna party because three and a half weeks. Like as soon as we're shut down, party. Three and a half days later, right? And then after three and a half days. It didn't say like particularly what point, but after three and a half days the breath of life enters back into God's people. You know why? Because I, I heard a I heard a commercial yesterday on YouTube. I didn't see it. I just heard it for like the last ten seconds. I'm like, what? Oh, what? I tried to find it. I'm like, crap. I don't remember what it said, but I remember the feeling that I got from the message. The message, the feeling that I got from the message is we are going to rise back up on YouTube. Not everybody's being told the truth. You have to get guess where things are. I'm telling you that when the guy was explaining something about it was like it's like he's like saying like coming up like shortly real YouTube life experience reality something something along the lines where i thought wow he's talking about my channel 
he's talking about my channel. He's talking about people like me that are real, like real, telling the truth day in and day out. Whenever, however you get on YouTube, they know who you are. We are the ones taking over uh, AI. And if I hear it again, I'll record it, but um, it gave me the feeling of, uh, okay, that is exactly what Justin was talking about a long time ago. YouTube's not going anywhere. It's changing. And I didn't understand it. I'm thinking, nah, we're getting a rapture up out of here. We're, look, our bodies are going to be laying on the ground. We're spirits floating up. We're out. This was, you know, within last year. My mind's changed since then. I've been grounded back to earth a little bit more. And I start to understand it clear because we're not, we're not leaving anywhere. The only thing leaving is the world and the way it's been taught. So, by the feeling that I got from the message that I heard is an absolute confirmation from the way I've been feeling about how things are going to change. They're changing from the inside out, just like a butterfly. The butterfly, you can't tell from the outside, but it's rebirthing on the inside. And that way, when it's time, that 24-hour period where it gets out of the cocoon and just starts to fly away. I mean, it was rebirthed from the inside out. We are being groomed from the inside out. Me personally, I'm being groomed from the inside out because I wasn't social with people. I never thought I would be talking to a lot of people. It's just, it's something like when you think of standing up in front of people, period, it's like, no way, yeah, right, I can never do what Paul Begley's doing or it's speaking to people out front. But now I don't care. I mean, now I understand. It doesn't matter who's out there. It doesn't matter who's looking at you to the left or to the right. If there's one set of eyes or a thousand sets of eyes or one eye. I'm so used to looking into one eye only. I can look into two eyes or three eyes or four or five or a million because they're all just eyeballs that you're looking at when you're talking. So this is going to continue on. Like This is how I'm going to keep talking to people is through AI. But yes, I'm going to meet a lot of, a lot of people at the same time when all this is over and we start over. But for the most part, as we go about our lives and continue on to just live... It's going to continue with this right here. But I'm not going to have to do all the studying anymore. I'm not going to have to take clips of what the elite are saying and try to dissect what they're doing because it, it my work will already be finished. The only thing that I have to do is just sit back and relax and um, enjoy life at rest. Now, no, we're not going to be lazy. It's just we're going to be resting. Here's, here's my perfect plan. You don't need to sleep eight hours a day, okay? You stay up five hours at a time and you take an hour power nap. When you take a power nap, um, you get like a get like a thin kind of mattress type thing, like a lawn chair um, uh, covering the cushions, right? You lay down flat with one of those things in your face that you can have, you can breathe like like a little pillow, like around, like you know, like the um, a massage table where you put your face on. You take a nap on that for an hour flat. You, I'm telling you, the sleep that you get is unbelievable when you're laying face down and you can breathe without your, you know, if you're laying in bed and your face is straight on the pillow, you can't, but you're going to suffocate. But when it's up and you're comfortable like that, you take that power nap. Uh, just try for yourself. Every hour, you take a nap, you wake up, you're rejuvenated for five more hours. Five hours from around, take another nap. Wake up, stay up for another five hours and do whatever you gotta do. Just, it's like, then cat napping is normal. But now it's not, it just doesn't seem, it didn't seem like it was normal. But now I understand, well, isn't that what animals do when they're at rest? 
They nap whenever they want. They're up whenever they feel like it. They go to take a nap whenever they want. And then after all said and done, you still get five, six hours of sleep every day. But you're up all the time. Who says we got to go to sleep at night and sleep for eight hours? Who's telling us that? Why do we got to... Why do we got to waste all those hours of sleeping when you can be awake, energized from taking your power naps? Look, I'm just saying it's something I'm going to try and see how it works. And I'm telling you, it's probably going to work out pretty damn good because you can be up and enjoy the rest of your life and be energized at the same time. And you don't feel like you have to go to sleep like I can't stand that feeling when I'm done my my research and my video and I put it all together and here comes 10 11 o'clock at night and it's like oh, I gotta get up at six I, I gotta go to sleep or else you're gonna be tired I'm getting literally tired of that and that's what changes for the rest of our lives look anybody can do whatever they want you can just rest all you want you can help humanity and rest at the same time but um either way this is all changing so there's still certain people that haven't gotten the memo yet and um and steve's one of them he's the main one well look take it easy on him guys when when you break the, the news to him i mean he's gonna understand he's gonna he's gonna be mad he's gonna understand in the end but just take it easy you know, he's you know, he's he wants to be king. I mean, let him at least wear his hat. Have a few. Ha, at, at least do this. Look, let all his people worship him the way that they're supposed to for three and a half days. That way they get it out. They get it, that way Steve gets it out of his system. Everybody's worshiping him. We're shut down. He's gonna feel like we're never gonna be heard again. And then the shame settles in after you tell him the news. And then after his guys um, after his guys uh, get the news also because all you guys are gonna go in the same boat we just get to go on the boat first as you guys are trying to sink it like the USS Liberty because we are the truth we're the most trusted people in the world and uh, we have the intelligence that is taking over because it's truth. So, when the elite script is being played out right in front of you, and I'm picking it apart, I'm telling you what's happening next, and it's coming to pass, and and it's getting closer and closer, and tighter and tighter. So, the aliens are coming. That's up next, and then the war from June 11th to the to the ne next 21 days until July 1st or so. It's really going to ramp it up, and then. It's to read.